And I remember too, also like my back was fucked up. That's why I went to the class and the like the position she started out with, the, the twisting was happening too quickly. Mm. So I kind of just went down to the mat and I was doing all the thing and the teacher got like all freaked out by it. Really? She's like, come on, you know, let's try to stay with the class. You can't be like busting out all these different asanas. And I just started fucking laughing where I was just thinking like, this is all supposed to be about listening to your body and you're literally, you're like the oil man in here trying to control, this is your own little fucking economy. And just the fact that I fuck, you're walking around like you got it all figured out. You got 99% of people here all doing what the fuck you say and one guy goes down to his mat because his, and you process it like I'm fucking with your authority in a yoga class. Mm. So with my, broad brush I said fuck hot yoga <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious yeah well yoga teachers like everything else you know some of them you're gonna enjoy some of them are gonna be really good at it and some of them are gonna annoy the fuck out of you what annoys the fuck out of me is when they start giving you motivational advice and telling you how to live your life you've gotta learn to let go of things like for me and then tell some personal story and so, yeah. what I got out of that, like, Jesus Christ, can we fucking move on here? I didn't come yeah. here to hear your first grade. I used to go to this one. Entry psychology. It was a great class. It was a great class, but the dude, he had, it was fucking awesome. I, like, I was, after a while, I would go, I was just psychologically breaking this guy down. <laughs> and something happened to him at a Gold's Gym. I don't know what happened to him. At a, like, he just was forever <coughs> making fun of muscle heads. And I was thinking, you know, because I've had the hybrid thing going on. Like, I lo- you know, back before I fucked up my shoulder, I loved lifting weights. I loved going to the gym and all that shit. And I liked the energy in a gym. You know, I, I-, I liked it. And um, the old school ones, right? When the guys used to walk around with the towels tucked into their fucking, you know, mm-hmm. that shit. And he was forever shitting on it. And then another thing that he would do with he would... Uh, also somehow steer it toward like a subtle comment about lovemaking and the way to and he was putting out like his vibe that he was good in bed Ugh. at the same time <laughs> Ugh, that's a yoga guy move oh. you know and he had the little ponytail and shit it was fucking no it was Christ. like a Will Ferrell character it was fucking <laughs> funny it's just like this is like it was like a real life like Will Ferrell like uh like just really just like I know everything kind of vibe it was he wasn't as bad as that but it was just the, the whole, I get it yeah it was funny though and I used to sit there uh, yeah this was like this dude in New York I remember it was fucking hilarious and it, what was hilarious was I was bad at yoga if there's that you're not supposed to even say that if you're doing it man you just you know wherever your body's at is where you're supposed to be right and I just remember when he would walk around the class and he would adjust people. He'd always skip me and then adjust some hot chick who was way more flexible than me. And it's just like, really? I'm doing it right as I'm sitting over here? For some reason, I never needed an adjustment. Of course. And there was, this was like the 90s, so you could get away with this shit. There was a lot of adjusting like this, almost cupping a titty and fucking like, yeah, shit on the hips mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Hey, God bless him. It's like a Pied Piper. You got all these hot chicks in there and you get them all stretched out before he... Back-